So, welcome back YouTube. This is Tactical Evolutions channel. If you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button and that bell notification. So this is the 200 mile review on my RPS Hawk 250 2017 model. So, a few things. One, it's running really good. I had to adjust the valves. I took a few different adjustments, but I think I got them pretty good. Um, two, on the crankshaft seal, inside here, where well, the nut is that you can twist it, put it on top dead center to adjust the valves, it's leaking. It has a leak. You can see where there's some that's coming out right here under the case. And it comes out from like right in here comes out from under in here you can see on my finger right there see and it drips down so I've got to replace that I really haven't had the chance or the money um, the guy who filled it up the battery up when he got it the one I bought it from dropped acid from the battery all over the place so now as it's been sitting it's been heated up you can see all these little spots looks like dirt but it's not these are all little acid spots. Every one of these little bitty dots. I'm going to pull that off when I replace that seal. i probably paint them. So, um, I've had to tighten up a few bolts here and there. These front plastics here. This left one's pretty tight, but the right one... I have to get some double-sided tape or something. Because when you start getting going, this starts doing that. I moved my handlebars up just a little bit. I didn't like how they were sitting back, so I'm moving them up just a little bit. Um, the mirror's pretty good. It's breaking in all right. It's got, now that I've adjusted the valves, the exhaust sounds a little cleaner. Sounds a little more dirt bikey. But all in all, it's pretty good. I don't like how the shifter, which in one of my previous videos I showed you, the, the shifter, or the kickstart, I mean, it sticks out. You can see how it kind of arcs out. I want it to be in more, so I need to find a new shifter. If anybody knows a good place to get one, what size you should, I should get, you know, all the details, leave it in the comments down below, please. I need to find a new one. Um, I, the oil, I have not changed the oil yet. I'd add a little bit to it because of the leak, and that kind of sucks. Little bits of rust. I don't know why. I keep it pretty uh, dry and washed off and cleaned off after I'm done riding. But all in all, it's doing pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll come back with more videos later.